Okay, so we're going to talk about how you can construct a binomial probability distribution using StatCrunch and the formula that we know for the binomial probability distribution. So this is the example we're going to work on. I'm told in my problem that I have a sample size of 6, that the probability of successes for my samples is 0.75, and then you can see that my um, variables over here, my x values, or the number of successes, are listed here in this column. So to do it in StatCrunch, what we're going to do is I'm going to rename the column here on the far left, or this first column, as x, so that it replicates what we're seeing on my StatCrunch screen, or on the question. And then I'm going to fill in 0 through 6. Now, the second column that we're going to build here is supposed to be the probability of each of these successes, and we find that by using this formula down here. But how do we do that in StatCrunch? Well, I'm going to do that using data compute expression, and I am going to force StatCrunch to use this formula right here, so I'm going to build an expression on my own. So the first part of my formula this that you see down here, this is the combination, right? It's the combination, uh, the number of ways that I can choose in samples for x variables. And the command for that in StatCrunch is found under this functions heading right here, and it's called combination or comb. And I'm going to add that to the expression we're building at the top. The set of parentheses is waiting for me to enter in n is the first thing I enter, and then x is the second thing I enter. So I know that I have a sample of size 6 according to the problem. So I enter a 6, and I'm going to arrow over. Now, this x right here in my formula stands for each of these x's that are under my uh, x column heading. Okay, So it's the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But I don't want to enter all seven of those numbers in here. Instead, I want StatCrunch to each time it goes to a different cell, it's going to pull up the 0, the 1, the 2, or the 3 as I move down this problem. To do that, I tell it to just access the, the x column that we were talking about, and I hit add. So each time it's going to replace this x with either a 0, a 1, a 2, or a 3, or so forth. Now, the next part of my formula says I'm going to multiply uh, that by the probability given to me in my formula, uh, in my problem, which is 0.75, raised to the, oops, I think I need a multiplication sign in there. So I'm going to say times the probability p, which was 0.75, raised to the x column in StatCrunch. So to raise it to a power, I click this caret. And again, I want to raise it to the column, x column. And then I'm going to multiply it times this part of the expression. So I'm going to put times, and I'm going to put a parentheses, 1 minus my p-value from the problem, which was 0.75. Close the parentheses, and I'm going to raise this part to this expression, or this exponent here. So again, I click the uh, caret bar right there. But because I have two or three things, two things going on in the exponent position, I'm going to surround them by parentheses. n comes from my problem, which was 6, minus the x comes from my stat crunch column, which we've called uh, the column x. So I add that column, close my parentheses, and this whole expression up here represents the formula that you see down here for the uh, binomial probability distribution. Okay, now I am going to click OK, and I am going to label my column where it's going to put this data as P of X, because that's what I'm uh, wanting this thing to turn out to be, so P of X. When I hit Compute, StatCrunch now used the formula for the probability uh, distribution uh, to fill in this column right here and each of these values. It used the formula for each of these x values and created the, the probability values here that you see. Now I can take these values and uh, round them to the nearest four decimal places and put them in my problem that you, we have going on over here, which is what I'm going to do for us right now. Okay, so I took the values that we had StatCrunch compute for us, 
translated them over here into my problem I was working, rounding them to the nearest fourth decimal, and you can see that I was able to get it right. Now the next part of the problem asks me to compute both the mean and the standard deviation of the variable. Now I can compute the mean and the standard deviation by hand. And I would do that by using the value or the formula that we know to find the expected value of our random variable, right? That was the formula that you see now down here that I have replaced. It's where I multiply my x column times my probability column and add everything up and I would get a number. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because I created these two columns in StatCrunch. So if you remember from a previous um, section, we can have StatCrunch do a calculator and we're going to do the custom calculator down here. The values are in the x and the weights are in the probability or the p of x and I'm going to click compute. And StatCrunch has now created or calculated for me the mean of my random variable as well as the standard deviation and it even created the graph that I wanted, right? These, these bars represent the probability of each of my x variables over here. So I would take the mean and the standard deviation given to me here, plug it into StatCrunch and that would give me the answers.